Welcome to Play to Win, where we play to win. I'm Dylan. And I'm Cam. This week, we're playing our $100 patrons decks against Lua and Tori of the Scry Babies. So thank you so much, Demon of Rosgrees and Baby Jeebus, for submitting your list. Hello, I'm Lua Stardust. I'm one half of the Scry Babies. The other one's over there. Her name's Tori the Bass. I thank am you. the other half of the Scry Babies. Check out our show, Scry Babies, where we play CDH, EDH, and other really cool 1v1 formats. This video is brought to you in part by our sponsor, Dragon Shield. Go check out the affiliate link down below to help support the show. So we have Lua on Winota. Cam on Demon of Razgriz's Corvold list, Tori's playing Blue Farm, and I'm on Baby Jeebus's Varal's list. <laughs> My pre-game is that we should have lots of fun. I'm gonna draw a magic card. I'm just gonna play this Cavern of Souls, and I'm gonna choose humans. I'll play a Mana Crypt, Loyal Apprentice, I guess. Cameron. 38. Sorry, I will draw. I will play Carflution Forest. I will take one going down to 37 to cast a Birds of Paradise. I will pass a turn then. Drop turn. Underground Sea. Imperial Seal. Yes. Me. Yes. Goes on the top of my library. Go ahead. I will draw a card. I'll play a Swamp. Basic. I will cast Gr Chromox is what I will cast. Mm. <laughs> I wonder what's going to be mm. followed up then. <laughs> I will pitch this Grim Flare to it. I thought it was going to be a Grim Monolith. <laughs> so I was still surprised. You fool. <laughs> I'll tap these two and cast Sylvan Library. That's it. Four in hand. Pass my turn. Okay. Untap. Well, at least I'm probably not going to get hit by more creatures. You don't know that. I guess yeah, I it's don't. probably Tori, right? She cast the Imperial Seal. Yeah. Yes, it's from the Imperial Seal only. I would like to crack this Flooded Strand to get myself to cast this Winota, Cavern of Souls. I would like to go to combat. I will have a Loyal Apprentice trigger. I'm going to make a Thopter. I'm going to send these both at Tori. Why would you do that? Why would you think that I am a threat? Nice. Uh, For sure, no reason you could think I'm threatening. But I have one Winota trigger. I'm just going to, we're just going to go with my personal favorite, which is a Lena Selfless Champion. That is going at, I guess, also Tori. And then when Lena enters the battlefield, I'm going to make one one white soldier creature tokens for each non-token creature I control. So it'll make three total. So I'm taking six? Yep. And then after 32. that, I will pass the turn. Good draw. You have three more one ones, correct? Yes, I'll have three one ones. I'm just getting something to put them out. This timing is a little bit weird. I'm going to play Bajuka Bog as my <laughs> land. Tori, you're the only one who's playing Underworld Breach. And then I'm going to cast a Green Suns X equals one. It gets shot back into my deck. Well, you have to find the and thing, shuffle, and then put it back in your deck and then shuffle again. Oh, okay, okay. So here's the ignoble <laughs> hierarchy. So now I'm gonna shuffle. Yeah, and then, yeah. then I'll put this back in the deck in a random spot, and then I and then, will yeah, and then you shuffle. reshuffle again. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna draw for turn. <laughs> Tapped Watery Grave. Go ahead. I will untap. Sylvan Library. I will take four. I'll play this forest. I'll cast Dark Ritual right now. Three black mana, four or five. Cast Adnos. Yeah. Sure. I will start resolving Adnos. Right around here, I kind of realized that I have to win now or I'm just dead to Lua's attack. So I really just have to keep on going until I have a winning line. Buried alive, that'll do it. Or you Sorry. just die, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, right, everyone. Well. Okay, yeah, I kill myself, I'm dead. I will untap. Well, now I'm even more scared. No, why? Dragon card. I'm gonna take two from the sacred boundary that'll come in on top. Phoenix chick. I'm gonna cast this magic card. It's called the Ranger Captain of Mayos. Oh boy. It's gonna be a ginger brewer though, and I'm gonna pay for it with my mana crypt. So I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna make another Thopter. These, Cam, and then Tori is gonna get this, this, this. This seven Winona triggers. That's crazy. Uh -oh. I'll send this combat celebrate at Cam. I'm gonna send out this granite. I'm glad I'm dead. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> My live draws is currently dwindling. Dwindling, down. I think, <laughs> so fast. What the uh, fuck so is that? Grass Marauder. <laughs> so this is gonna be going at Tori's wall. Ian, why aren't we playing these good cards? Don't do this to me, Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> so seven Winona triggers on turn three is an insane amount. But the fact that Lou is hitting these like incredibly spicy cards that don't see a lot of Winota play and showing how powerful they are is awesome to see. Like double damage, a whole bunch of extra one ones early on that can trigger Winota. Angrath's Marauders and that other card that I can't remember the name of right now. Blade Historian? No, no. Rick. No, no. Those uh, ones are actually good. The one that makes tokens. Lana? These two cards 
don't seem great uh, in paper in most decks, but right now in this one in the list, they're definitely making me want to try them out. They are very aggressive and can really finish games quickly. So yes, I can. Cannonist. Okay, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also a cam. Ooh, Magus the Moon. Magus. Intruder of the Guard. And oh. I have a trigger for this. So I'm going to go do this before my last one out. Can I get the signal pass? One, two, Oh. Uh, so it's not a whiff, it's a blade historian. Let me just count this damage real oh, quick. Oh, that's great because that's now double you're and double have strike. Like quadruple strike. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm blocking the 16. Okay. <laughs> yeah, with the combat celebrant, 40. That kills. I'm dead. I'm dead. 40, I'm at 37. Four on top of it. So that's another 16, right? Altogether, so it makes 32. I'm at 32, um, so that's it. All right. That's it. <laughs> Cool. Incredible. Oh, okay. Holy shit. That was amazing. All the humans were dealing double damage. All the attacking creatures, most of them were humans, were having double strike. That was a lot of damage. And with me already killing myself out of the table, Lua had an easy time just crushing the other two opponents. Let's play another game and maybe it will go better for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, look at those panda sleeves. Those are cool as fuck, Cam. Where'd you get those? They are super cool. Oh, yeah. Where'd you get those sleeves from? They're from Dragon Shield. Oh, your sponsors at Dragon Shield? I hear yeah. they're a really great company to work with. They are Dragon amazing. Dragon Shield. I'm, I'm going to play this land. Then I'm going to play this Gromox. Thalia's glance is under it. We'll just play this Phoenix check. And I'm going to swing at Tori. I go to 39. And that will be my turn. I sounded like the fucking self-checkout machine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a Taiga. I will cast a Lotus Petal, cast a Land of War Elves. Follow all this up with passing the turn. That was a pretty good turn, but I don't think you're prepared for mine. <laughs> I'm just trying to deceive you guys. No one has any idea what's happening next. <laughs> Go ahead. <All> right. <laughs> I will draw a card. I'll play this Forest, cast Elvish Mystic. Pass turn. I'll play this Plains and this Lotus Petal. Dragging this Lotus Petal, where we would like to get a one Oda, please. Dylan, would you, I'm gonna swing, yeah. What? Yeah, just yeah. for fun. Yeah. You yeah, know, the, as I say, the board's pretty even but Cameron does have a lotus petal and that's significantly more things no okay hold on I will send this Dranith magistrate at Cameron 39 yeah. all right I take one yeah I also go to 39 yep and I need to find a new axis to fight on okay <laughs> I think that's it I don't have anything else and I will pass cool all right I will drop I will play a badlands and then I will pass I'm gonna play a sea of clouds. I have nothing really to do, so I'm gonna play a wish claw talisman just so I have something. And, and that's it. That's 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 all I'm doing. Untap. Jucker. Tap this for a green. Wild growth on my forest. Tap this forest for two green. Cast a soul ring. And with the other green, cast caustic caterpillar. That'll be it. I passed my turn with four cards in hand. I'm gonna draw a card. I would like to cast a magic card. It's called Loyal Apprentice. Oh this brother, guy. this oh, guy yeah. stinks. Oh, uh, <laughs> I would like to go to combat. I'm going to send Loyal Prentice at Tori and then a Thopter at Dylan and a Phoenix Shix at Cam. Let's send our Winota too. I'm going to send it at Cam. Two Winota triggers. I'm going to send this at Dylan, a Blade Historian. Unbelievable. Oh boy. Okay. One more Winota trigger at Cameron, a Mock Catcher. Oh God. Six. So it's a total of 14. Can I take six? I will pass. All right. Well, now my line's a lot worse. On your end step, I'm going to make one, two, three, green, green, black. Use the black to cast a Reign of Filth. With... Oh my. This is the only way that I'm winning this game at this point. So let's hold... let's see what we can do. Green, green, black, 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 <laughs> cast an ad nausea. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I go down to four. Yeah. And I think I stop there. I'm paying two life going down to two to Noxious Revival this Lotus Petal back on top. I'll draw my card for 10. I will cast this Lotus Petal. I will cast this Mana Crypt. And then Swamp as my land. I will crack Lotus Petal for a red mana. Yo, this is gonna be funny. One, two, three, four. Colleen Ritual, leaving my red floating. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, yes. Who fucking needs permanence? I love this. This is like the Jund way. Just trash it, bin it all, whatever. <laughs> Use it and dump it. Who needs lands on my turn? Fuck them. Of course. Cool. I'm floating two. two. So I have 12. That yeah, is a good card. Pretty good, yeah. I can't believe you would hurt a chicken. Finale of Devastation X equals two. Wither Bloom Apprentice into play. And then using this two black mana, I don't even need Underworld Breach. 
I will cast a. Um, I might as well cast first. That. Hold up, hold I up. Yeah, well, hold up. You know, I know I don't be. have to, but I'm just realizing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna cast breach first. Like, don't get too cocky right now. <laughs> <laughs> and then now I'll use this two mana, and I'll cast Chain of Smog, targeting myself. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'd like to present a loop where I continuously do this until the entire table is drained from all life. I think yep. that means you win the game. I am ready. I am ready to admit that. Turns out that 25 mm -hmm. life was just enough. Lua had a great start that game and the first game, but luckily Corvold is still like a really powerful deck. Like yeah. even if you didn't cast Corvold, Jund Ad Nauseam is still good. Yeah, it turns out Calling Ritual is a hell of a good card. Deals with all the stacks pieces that are giving you trouble. Janeth Magistrate, all that shit. And it gives you the mana you need to clean up the game right afterwards. Yeah, too. you made like 12 mana that time. That was perfect. A four mana ritual that makes 12 mana is pretty good rate. Unfortunately, Tori didn't get to do a ton in these games, but she does a ton in a lot of other games. And we played a uh, another game that's going on our chill to win. If you want to watch that, you can check that out this coming week on Patreon. That'll be out on Tuesday, two days from the release of this video. One day if you're watching it the next day. And if you're watching this two days after the video, hey, you should go check out the Patreon. Yes, we should continue explaining on how the rest of the days yes. work, right? So the week starts on a Monday. Midnight. The day, the day begins. Yes. Thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to support us directly, you can do so on Patreon like our $100 patrons. Baby g -Bust and Demon of Rosgreeze. If you want to pick up any merch, you can do that at playtowinmtg.com. Big thank you to Dragon Shield. Thank you so much for sponsoring the show. Make sure you check out our affiliate link down below to check out the new Pan Dragon sleeves, the ones I played today. You can follow us on Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram for more content. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Should we talk about some $50 patrons? Yeah. Who are all of our $50 patrons? We have a new one. We have two. AJ Alawasabi. Nicely done. Jake Twofield. Stashes. Mitchell Shepard. Justin. Eli Richtie. Man Solo. Nicole Marikovic. Steven Schlichty. Big DP15. That green guy. Isaiah Broliski. Michael Lyon. Pedro. Metal plays games. Wind Wave. C. Kawaja A. Hamid. Jacob Depp. C. Z. Michael Blue. Jan Wildfang. Sleepy Jarvis. Um, Thomas Bueno. <laughs> and the Swampy McGee. Lauren Connell. David Nelson. Jor Mags. James Noon. Eight, four, five. What the fuck are you doing in my swamp? What are you doing in my swamp? Very nicely done, Demon, on your Corvold list. We got there. Yeah, Corvold slaps. Great job. Also, Baby Jeebus, I'm sorry I did not quite get there with Brawls this time. Maybe I should have mulliganed more aggressively. Although I didn't really get a fucking chance to do anything, I feel like. I either tried to win on turn two or lost on turn two. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's fair. Two quick games. Two, two quick, quick games. games. Two quick, quick games. games. Are you trying to do like hot crust buns or just like uh, I was kind of trying to do what Learn Dw your rules. That's what it was. Learn your it's rules. It's Dwight is what I was trying to do. If you don't, <laughs> you'll be eaten in your sleep. Shout out to Ugly. Congrats on having a kid.